Well, good morning. It is Friday morning, which means it is donut day for me and Riley. So we're going to go to the Apple Juice store and get a donut. It is also pajama day at school. And when we get home, we're going to have pizza and movie night. All right, let's get going. Yeah. Okay, so the name of the store is definitely not the Apple Juice store. But Riley always likes to come here and get apple juice and started calling it the Apple Juice store since she was just a little one. So we will now forever call it the Apple Juice store. Isn't that right? Uh, ladies first. That's not an apple juice. Which one? That's right, so now Riley and I get to share a donut. And then we're gonna head to school. Oh, and after that, I do have to go to work. I got another U-Haul truck to tow back over the mountain. So that, that, that's actually what we're doing in this video is going to work. This is just the fun part before work. Isn't that right? All right, we got Riley dropped off at school and now we are headed up to Madras, Oregon to go pick up this U-Haul truck. Uh, I guess it doesn't have any brakes. I'm not sure, just bad brakes or no brakes at all or, or what. So we're gonna get up there figure that out, get it thrown on the bed, and then haul it up over the mountain uh, back to their maintenance shop so they can give it breaks. One of these here is our truck we gotta take. We just gotta go figure out which one and how we're gonna get it. it does not look like I wanna pull in there. So we're gonna pull down here for now and not block the fire hydrant. All right, I went inside, got the keys to it, and got a little more of the story. Apparently, it's not just the brakes are bad. This truck was stolen, and they finally recovered it and got it back. And it has no brakes, as well as quite a few other problems from uh, being stolen. So that's why it's got to go back to the repair center and, and get some work done. So we got to find the thing. I guess it's down in the bottom down here, and then uh, see how we want to load it up. Did it get stolen again? Oh, over here. Okay, supposedly it has no brakes at all. And uh, we don't want to end up over there, so I'll just back the truck up right here, put the ramp down, and we'll just pull it up the ramp. Okay, before I crawl under to hook that up, I'm gonna make sure like it's got the parking brake set, which it doesn't. And it's in gear and it just reeks like cigarettes in here. Oh my God. It's amazingly clean inside for being stolen though. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is make sure there's nothing in the back that that I don't want to get caught transporting, so nope, I'll put it. I prefer to crawl in from the back to hook the J hooks instead of trying to squeeze in there. Especially when this is on a downhill. Uh, don't want to be in there. So, lock the winch. Now we can start reeling it in. Okay, got tension. Now we'll go put it in neutral. Okay, if you're wondering why. I'm putting this one on the bed and I towed the last one. A lot of people are like, why do you just haul it? This one on the bed is under legal height. The, the, uh, the bigger trucks are taller and when they're on top of my bed, I'm over height and I don't want to buy an overpass so we just tow them behind. Remember that parking brake I set? Yep, let's do that. Ah, now it rolls.
reset that. Take that off. Take the key out so that it doesn't do something weird and lock itself inside. Okay, since I don't trust this truck in its brake situation, I want to tie it down from the back before I bring this bed over and point it downhill. Plus, I don't want to walk behind it with only the winch securing it. So we just throw one chain on the front right here. Now I'll go put one chain on the back. Then I'll bring it up here and then I'll put the other two chains on. Okay, I cheated and put both back chains on since it's down nice and low to the ground right now. And then we can raise the bed up. And now run it forward. Now the other thing we're gonna do is we are going to slack off that winch. We're not gonna unhook it, we're just gonna slack it so that it stays hooked up. But if this is bouncing and moving down the road, it's not shock loading the winch points since they're on the parts that's moving and it's not shock loading my winch either. So just gotta throw that chain on and we're done. Ah, the remnants of fuel theft at a U-Haul. This is not uncommon. All right, load it up and we're off. All right, now we are going to head to the truck stop to clean this windshield so that people stop complaining about it. Clearly, those people have never heard of road spray, but we're gonna go clean it. Welcome to Loves. That's what they say every time you walk in. All right, is it perfect? No. Is it better than it was? Mm, questionable. Is it just gonna get blasted with road spray in the next 30 minutes and look the same anyway? Yes. We're just gonna pull up out of the fuel island here and then go inside and get some snacks for the trip and then head over that big mountain and completely ruin this windshield again. And we're off, it looks like, right at three hours to get to uh, the yard where we drop dropping this thing. So let's go for a little drive. Check out this guy. He's got a tandem axle rollback with a double stack trailer and car stacked on top. He is way more ambitious than I am. All right, back up on top of the pass, 5,000 feet up. Road is nice and dry and good. Snow's still here. That will be here till like end of May. June-ish. There's Hoodoo Ski Resort right there. Got its first layer of snow. Mount Washington over there. Very nice roads. Okay, we dropped about 3,000 feet in elevation. Now we're down here along the McKenzie River. Good place to stop, stretch our legs a little bit, take a little break, check the load, make sure it's all good. Wow, that's kind of like real deep right off the edge here. There's a McKenzie River. This flows up off the Cascades, down out through the Central Valley, and obviously on from there. Eh, truck's still here. here but looks like another tow truck's coming out so we will move out of his way well, I guess he can go that way all right 
let's see if we can get in here since somebody's parked right there. Okay, she's getting loaded up, gonna move this car and then I can get back here and unload.